Hey guys, we're Rob out here at I'm always at hotwater.com uh, with something pretty special for you guys today. And uh, we, we're out, obviously, as you can see, in a storage area trying to rustle up, uh, you know, what we can for all the products available that people need out there, uh, especially um, if you're looking for a project. And I think I found a pretty good one for you. Um, testing out my GoPro today. Hopefully, it's, I got my head strap on. Hopefully, you guys are getting this. I'm checking it on my, on my phone. Uh, the resolution is, is so much better with this than just the standard video camera. And we're getting it ready for underwater dives. But uh, just to give you guys a quick, short preview video of this vessel, this is a 1986 27 Seacraft center console. And you know what? It is in great shape. Um, I've been all the way through it, up and on it, and I just want to show you guys. Uh, I will assume that the trailer is going to be included with the sail, um, showing it as an aluminum uh, triaxle torsion, but obviously I can see the brake lines are cut, so non-working brakes um, as far as that goes. But I want to just give you guys a quick view, um, checking to see. Hopefully this resolution comes out good. Um, this hull is in great shape. Um, does it looks like she's been bottom painting uh, not uh, not too long ago this vessel was slated for a project uh, for one of the charter companies and basically what ended up happening is uh, they were gonna put uh, a pair of 225 uh, Yamahas on this particular vessel and that particular deal fell through and they actually ran into another boat so uh, one of the captains in the area felt like this boat was uh, solid enough to run a real nice charter on so I'm gonna just kind of walk through real quick to let you guys know that she's a beautiful, solid vessel. I bounced up on her already. Uh, woodwork just needs, you know, to be redone. Uh, you know, a little bit of sanding and, and uh, uh, paint and varnish and whatever you wanna do. Uh, transom's in great shape. I'm hoping I can get, I'm just making sure I'm set right here. Um, so you guys can see everything that I'm looking at. Bear with me as I'm, I'm working with this head cam. I can't really see what I'm doing, but I'm checking it on my phone. And you guys can see, I mean, it's got all of the amenities. Now, I want to let you guys know, and I'm going to get pictures uh, of this. And I took pictures up underneath of the tanks for you guys. Um, the floor is solid. We got real, no real bounce or soft spots on this, obviously. Um, that's why it was purchased. Uh, it's it's big. It's big up here. Uh, woodwork can, like I said, easily be redone. Um, you're showing, you know, just your minor cosmetic stress in areas such as this. Um, but overall, uh, not really anything. No red flags. Just a good old solid hull, uh, ready to be powered with twin motors on a real solid transom. Um, now I want to let you guys know. Also, I'm about to go take pictures. Uh, you know, this also comes with the center console, uh, you know, and the T-top and all of the things that are, or the center console from what I understand. Actually, I did see the T-top and I'll get a picture of that. Um, it, it's not claw, it doesn't have the uh, uh, T-top on it, uh, but the stand will uh, be available and I'll get pictures of that. So overall, if you guys are looking for a really cool project, uh, you know, you got controls, you got, uh, and you want to start from scratch and, um, Here's a real good hole to do it with. Anyway, Rob out here at I'mAlwaysInHotWater.com. Chasing boats for you. Hopefully I'm not giving you seizures with all this shaking. I'm going to pan out. Wishing you guys a happy and safe boating day. And as always, get wet and jump in the water with us today. Rob at I'mAlwaysInHotWater.com. Signing off.